everybody, my name is Metal Music Man. And I'm Professor Lex. And this is episode 80, 80. of the Metal Lex podcast. Pew, 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 Kaluka Koo! Dude, you don't I know Kaluka Koo? I remember Kaluka Koo. I remember the episode he, where they talk about the nematode in the movie. And, you and they do this, and you he gotta comes move out. Your arms, yeah, yeah. And you gotta move your legs. Kaluka Koo! What, what even, what year was that? Like 2000, 2001? No, way earlier than that. You oh think? my God, you're such a young baby. No, no, no. Not, not Doug, but the Doug movie. I don't where know. He meets the nematode. I don't know a Doug movie. I don't know Disney's Doug. Do you know the second a, season of Doug? Original OG Doug, where the first episode is nematode. In, in the. The pilot is nematode. Yeah. Yeah, I That's remember I that. Because Skeeter teaches him how to do it. Yeah. Skeeter's like Hong it's Kong. It's like hazing, yeah. Yeah. I, I, why does Skeeter say Hong Kong? That's a great question. <laughs> also, why is he coded black? He's clearly a black guy. Yeah, but Everybody like, thinks that. Yeah, but like, why? I don't know. Why wouldn't he be? Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> while, we're, while, we're, while we're talking about racial stereotypes and codings, I think, I think it's neat that, and I'll have to rewatch Doug. I could be wrong, but I think mm-hmm. it's neat that pretty much everyone universally agrees that Skeeter is a black dude. Yeah. But also that he's just like a super nerd. He's not a oh, super yeah, yeah. like whatever kind of typical racial stereotype you might expect from that era. What was it? Early nineties. Yes. Nintendo. Nintendo. Nickelodeon. Nintendo. There you go. Nickelodeon. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's uh, he's Nintendo. like uh, he's you know he's clearly a black guy. I think everybody yeah, he's knows coded he's a black. black guy. Just like uh, Phoebe is coded black. She's purple. You remember her? Now, now here's an oh, interesting yeah, one. Oh yeah, because Phoebe's the one who says, um, uh, and she doesn't say it, but they, they they're doing the the limbo, and yep. the song is like, "How low can, can you, you go, go? Phoebe? Pork chop, how yeah, low yeah, 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 can yeah, 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 yeah." And, and I yeah. think Phoebe's really good at it, if yeah. memory serves. I don't know that that's why she's black. Well, <laughs> well, I didn't fucking say that either, Alex. But you know, if you just want to pull so, that one out of your ass, so no, Phoebe, you know what? Black people—it's that's part of their stereotypes. Just listen. Them all, I learn more and more off every all day. The things, and then, like, right after every other one, it's it's fucking uh, 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 w- limbo. W- limbo. Thank yeah. you. It's 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 how low so, can you go? So you would think then that that would mean necessarily that anyone who isn't white, because like uh, Doug is sort of that pinkish white that you would expect for white people. You would think then that Doug is just Caucasian normal color. I mean, there's he, no like there is, are random people who are like, yeah, red for no reason. Like or Roger yeah, Green. Roger Klotz is not coded black. Roger Klotz is clearly he's just kind a of white an ass. dude. Yeah. Right. I, he's, he think? behaves in a sort of entitled way that I, strikes yeah. me as. <laughs> but isn't he also like poor? perhaps the greatest <laughs> racism of all time <laughs> was that we we thought Roger couldn't be black. You know? Perhaps that is this, the lesson we should take. <laughs> Damn, normally it takes us a long time to get to the the moral of the within, podcast. Within the first three minutes, we've already hit we already hit rock that. bottom. Um, yeah, uh, no, because I, I, I think where you're driving with this is like it might be that like everybody who isn't normal Caucasian, whatever the fuck normal, I'm gonna keep saying yep, normal yep. and being racist. Yeah, <laughs> well, remember when I said remember when I I had muffins what? and. I had a bunch of muffins and they were, or, or uh, no, not muffins, cupcakes. I had a bunch of cupcakes. I remember the and cupcakes. And they were all different like things. And and, and I was like, here's, <laughs> I was like, here's, here's a red velvet cupcake. Here's, here's a carrot cake cupcake. Uh-huh. This is a lemon cape cupcake. This is a chocolate cupcake. And you were like, oh, what flavor is that? And I was like, normal. <laughs> and you just immediately were like, fuck you. That is vanilla. And I was like, well, vanilla is normal. And then well, I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> anyway. I'm not saying um, that, that. I think you were trying to say that all of the. the <laughs> I'm going to unironically and unracistly use the phrase colored folk. Because they literally folk are of, folk of they color. Liter- they folk of color. Will. <laughs> they literally are. Even all of the colored characters, the characters, characters are weird of colors, color. non, non, <laughs> non normal. I mean, that's fair. No, that's fair because they're like purple. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. So, like all of the weird colored, non normal colored characters, like not I think you were saying, like it's clear color. they're not all clearly black. Is your point? Yeah, so it's not yeah, like the yeah. show has some thing where it's like our black people are the rainbow. They're they're <laughs> skittles. Like it's just random people. Are, are randomly random colors, random colors for no yeah, reason. And a handful of them are. I, I don't think that there are any black characters and like, characters who are coded black in Doug that have a Caucasian skin tone. Fuck. Now that really makes me want to think. I haven't seen the show in a you long a period of time. Yeah. But, but that makes me wonder if that's true or not. 
So here's here's a follow-up. And there are are there any black, black, brown, brown people not in Doug? I, I don't remember. think there are. I mean, Patty is like really brown, but she's clearly a white lady, right? She's not. She's native. In Wait, the, she's in, she's an Indian? In, like, or what no, Native American. Native yeah, American. There you go. Sorry, there we go. Indigenous there we go. person. She's she's not normal. <laughs> she, I'm what? Just gonna get, are you I'm just gonna get worse. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cupcake is she? Well, <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna we don't, do that. We don't say, I'm we not don't gonna say Indian anymore. Bait. We say Native American because yep. because that makes a lot more sense, <laughs> dude. I'll be damned if that's not, not from India. No, that one is so hard. That one is like yeah. I have gotten way better at this, but like while we're canceling me, one of the mm. hardest ones. Like I've gotten so much better at it, but it was so hard for me for so long to use they them pronouns. Not because I don't support it, or because I think that it's dumb. Because I think it's great and I it's no awesome, practice. and I do support it. Yeah, but I have because I'm old. I'm fucking mm-hmm. old. Mm-hmm. People forget that I'm old because I look like I'm two. I have so many years of English teachers in middle school just fucking just just lashing me. Like You're being, from the lashing I mean, times. I mean, not literally. You're left-handed. But, but they, yeah, yeah they, I am left-handed. They beat, but it, they, they beat you. For, I did. I, yeah. That actually did happen to me in what? soccer. But no. I don't want to. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, okay, I don't okay. Wanna, I don't, okay. Right. But, but so many years of middle school like English teachers and high school English teachers and, well, yeah, I guess even elementary school being like, you can't say they, them. They, them is only for plural. And if you ever say they for a singular instead of she or he, that's wrong and you're losing points. Well, so it's it's really hard. Like, and I, and I do want, like, I think I've gotten a lot better at it. But anyway, Indian Native American is the same. Like, I yeah. super duper support it. Super duper understand. But in my brain, it's just like Indians. Like, and I'm like, no. <laughs> like in Cowboys. <laughs> Right, right, and the cowboys are the good guys, and, and the, it's a whole. Wait, it's very, it's all wait. very simple. Yeah, <laughs> so it's it's difficult, uh, uh, just because of like, uh, yeah, just the years of like mm-hmm. ingrained, uh, you know, vocabulary, socialization. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll this, go with that. It, it, I, I will grant you, it's not your fault as as a white male privileged individual. You've been socialized a certain way. You've been brainwashed, and you didn't do it. I mean, okay, I do think linguistically logically uh-huh it did like i don't think those teachers at that time had an agenda against trans people i don't think you know so. what I, you know what i mean like i don't think they were doing like today they might yeah have, they but might yeah. but like back then i mean i don't know i guess i'm just this is my my closer to existence but like fucking i i did i literally didn't know trans people existed i mean i remember one of the most like like weird terrible memories I have is being like 18 and seeing my first trans person. And I was a fucking douche canoe. Oh, Cause no. I didn't understand. Like I had never, mm-hmm. I had never anything. And like, and you're still super like, I mean, even accepting like gay people at the mm-hmm. time when I was like 17 or 18, it wasn't like, yeah. Cause I, that back then gay was an insult. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, fuck dude. Most of my life it mm-hmm. was, that's, that's a tough mm-hmm. one. Yeah. That's a whole nother thing. But like, so yeah, like that's all super, uh, uncommon, you know? And, but I remember like seeing the first person and I was just like, what is this person doing? Like, they're clearly like, they don't know what they're, and like looking back, I'm like, oh my God, I was a terrible person. Oh, no, I was a big, in this, <laughs> in this scenario, you know, like, yeah. like it, um, but it, it was just not like a common thing. Um, but, but I guess my point is like, yeah, when I was 12, it was so, uh, I don't think, I mean, I, I didn't know trans people existed when I was 12. I remember having conversations with my friends about like one of them being like, oh, there's a porn and there's like a lady, but she's got like a penis or something. And I'm like, ah, that's not real. I remember thinking like, they like. (laughs) Like my thought, it's movie magic. My thought, yeah, my yeah. thought was like, like that was the only thing in my mind was that that was like the same thing as Godzilla. Like, like there was no, like there, there was no. So, so anyway, I don't think people had that in their mind at that time. Wait, but like, when, none, when was the Crying Game? Not that this is a great example. When was the Crying Game? Are you familiar with the no, movie The Crying know. Game? No, I I'll, I'll look it up. But the Crying Game is. Uh, it's it's a movie that re- it it's sort of insensitive, but for featuring trans people, a lot people of at all, old movies yeah. are super. Like, dude, you ever rewatch Ace Ventura: Pet 92. Detective? Uh, no, or not, have I ever seen it, or have I have I ever rewatched it? Well, yes, I've seen it. When was the last time you saw it? Oh, the early aughts. Okay, yeah, no <laughs> that that movie is so funny. It's so iconic. It's so good. And holy fucking shit. Is it incredibly transphobic? <laughs> it is so transphobic. So they have 
the whole plot of the movie mm-hmm. is that uh, <laughs> spo- spoiler Spoilers. alert for Ace Ventura One. <laughs> not even when uh, uh, nature calls. Yeah, but, not even yeah. when spoiler alerts. But the whole plot of the movie is that there's like an old football player who's disgraced because stupid plot of comedy movie, and 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 he like you know becomes a woman transitions i didn't even know at that time watching that like this is um, what i mean about this is i don't actually, remember this is, that this is great this is great this is um this is the stunning i didn't even know yeah for. we are really just getting yeah. into some shit right away in this podcast. oh yeah so like, this, these aren't even our topics you guys yeah <laughs> um so so i remember watching that movie and like i didn't know trans people were real i didn't know <laughs> trans people existed i had never heard the term trans people mm-hmm. i didn't know anything about that and all I remember is like the whole butt of like all the jokes in that movie is that this football player decides to like become a lady. Mm-hmm. And again, they're like, as far as I knew and as far as the movie knew and as far mm-hmm. as everyone I know who watched the movie knew, there wasn't like a term for that. <laughs> like we, we it was just like, it was just like, oh, that's, yet. that's, that's the, I don't remember the football player's name in the movie. His name's, you know, Bart, yeah, yeah. Bart Barterson. Bart Barterson. And, and uh, Bart Barterson, he, he, he became a woman because he lived a life of crime and shame and, Something. And then the woman who plays him is, uh, weirdly, I just found out this is totally unrelated to anything, but it's the same actress who plays, uh, the, 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 the robot in the original Blade Runner movie. Her name is uh, Sean something. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I never thought I like about her. that until, huh? I like her. It, I, I like anyway, the, the first Blade Runner. So she, she plays Lieutenant Kashmarf Kashmarf. Uh-huh. And, and, and spoiler alert, it turns out Lieutenant Kashmar Kashmarf is Bart Barterson. Uh, and so, and so mm-hmm. that's like the whole like weird mystery of the movie is like, what's going on? Who's killing these people? Who's doing stuff? And it's because they're trying to track down Bart Barterson, mm-hmm. but then Lieutenant Gashnarf or who's actually Bart Barterson is like ruining everything along the way, like unbeknownst to everyone because nobody can tell because oh, she's, she's so hot. And then literally the end of the movie, the end of the movie is that, is that Ace Ventura takes off all of her clothes in front of everyone somehow. I don't know. It's not important. Somehow he gets all of her clothes off. Yeah. She, she's like stunned. Or something. I don't remember how. Mm. He's like doing a thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's you weird. shouldn't do that if someone's stunned. I, that's what I'm saying. This, yeah. movie, this movie, like, re- rewatch Ace Ventura just to guffaw. To cringe. At how horribly it ages. <laughs> because there's still a lot of, like, funny shit in it. But, like, the whole plot is literally just centered around, like, haha trans people. It's terrible. So, it's really, really bad. So, the 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 the, the end of the, like, the climax of the movie at, like, the very end is, like, is, like Ace Ventura's, like, ah, I'm, I'm sure... That Lieutenant Gushnarf Snarf is Bart Barterson, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna prove it. And 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 then he like takes off all of her clothes, and everybody's like, "That's just Lieutenant Gushnarf Snarf. What's wrong with you?" And then it's like her like dick is tucked between her legs in, uh, her, uh-huh. in her underwear in the back, and then he like turns her around, and all every, <laughs> everybody like Tone Loke. God bless Tone Loke. Tone Loke is a transphobe. Dan Marino from the from oh, the no. Florida <laughs> what is it Merrick Merrick Dolphins yeah, Florida yeah. Dolphins he's a tra- like all these people the whole like there's an entire uh, uh like precinct of cops that are watching this unfold yeah. and as soon as he he like turns around and everybody sees like the dick uh uh-huh. like in her underwear they all start barfing and like scrubbing their tongue and it goes on for like ten minutes and it's just like roarous laughter. That's awful. It's terrible. Dude, old movies are hella fucking transphobic. The entire, however much time there is left in the movie, there's like five or ten minutes left in the movie uh-huh. where they like wrap things up. The All the dudes, because, it, so the, the joke is that she's like made out with all of them. Okay, sure. And yeah. they're all like, I made out with a man. And then like, however much time is left, they finally get out of that scene. They finally get out of that scene. They're like driving away. Mm-hmm. And Ace Ventura is just like, chewing literally like 50 sticks of gum to to wash the taste out of his mouth That's anyway just so mean. old movies are hella transphobic just so, mean. so my point is i don't think people even knew i didn't even know at the time i didn't it didn't even occur to me that like it was bad because i didn't know real people <laughs> did do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. It, was, it was like a godzilla situation <laughs> For, for me, I don't know when this movie right, came right. out, but it was like 91 or some shit. So I was, how, fuck, how old was I? How, when did Ace Ventura, when did Ace Ventura? The Crying Game was 1992. So if you were offended yeah, so in 91. In yeah. Well, why? Uh, yeah, I'm a fucking old, dude. 94. 94. So See, yeah, that's that, after that would, the Crying Game. That would make game. me eight, yeah. eight years old. But yeah, I remember watching this when it came out and just being like, ha ha ha, it's so funny. And like, there's just no like, there, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I guess my point is, uh, back to the whole thing with like Indians and stuff. There is a lot of shit like that 
that is just so ingrained, ingrained. that yeah. even though even though I know you can't shake the program, dude, it's yeah, hard. You're, you're and I have I have it. only within the last like three to four years been like able to like without trying extremely hard say like oh they're doing that meaning a singular person mm -hmm. just because of again not because I don't want to do it or because I think it's I think it's great but like it's just really difficult because mm -hmm. like fuck dude I don't know it's like I don't know here you go here we'll relate okay, this good, good. Uh, it, it, it's like it's like black people and and the 60s and people uh, being like ah you know it was so long ago and like it is but also it was literally like five seconds ago long ago it, yeah. It, yeah it also isn't at all so like yeah it's I think it's just one of those things where people are just like oh yeah like we're all everything's great cuz cuz we all accept stuff and everything's great and it's like fuck dude like literally in my lifetime when I was like 10 oh, I yeah. mean nobody came up to me and was like hey well, uh, it turns out chicks with dicks are the worst because I probably would have been like, I don't know, that sounds. <laughs> yeah, well, let's hear them out. <laughs> yeah. at, at like ten years old, I'm like, I don't, I don't know, man. That's <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, like I think, I don't know. It's it's such a short time span. Like, I mean, that's literally with the last twenty years has all this. And at least for my, I mean, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong and, and stupid, but like, I feel like the last like twenty years have been sort of landmark for that. Well, I mean, what's um, fuck, I think it's Train Spotting. Yes. When did Train Spotting come out? Nineties. <laughs> Probably. I'm gonna say ninety nine. So I think this movie was pretty forward. Um, ninety six. Ninety six. So wow. Okay, this makes me feel better about Hollywood because Train Spotting, uh, which I didn't know, I never saw Train Spotting when it first came. It was like an adult movie. I saw it. Wasn't, seen yeah, it. I watched it. Oh, it's pretty good. Right um, it's weird as fuck, but it's definitely good. I like weird. Um, but I watched it. I don't know. I was like twenty eight or twenty seven for the first time. So it's you know it was an old movie at this Decade time. But there's ago. a scene yeah. where like they all go to a club and they're all like fucking around. They like hook up and one of the dudes like hooks up with this fucking hot trans chick. Mm -hmm. And like it's it's like super normal. And then he like finds out and then he just gets like super mad. Oh. And but no, but it's good because it's like the movie is making the right statement and they like 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 the guy is mad, but you're not like the movie isn't like, like you're not rooting for these characters. Oh, so he's it's, a bad it's like guy. shining a light. It's like shining okay. a light on. I don't I mean I wouldn't call him a bad guy. I wouldn't call him an antihero. It's just a movie about characters. Do you know what I mean? And sure. Like, and they do things that are smart, that are good, that are dumb, that mm -hmm. are awful. Uh, it's just it's just one of those movies. It's like they make decisions. Sometimes they do good things. Nobody's really purely the bad guy, good or bad, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In, in the movie, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, this guy's clearly one of the bigger douches uh, for sure. But like, so the movie highlights it that way. And like, what I thought was really good about it is like, and, and it's so interesting. This only came out two years after Ace Ventura, considering the conversation we just had. But like, the the movie does a really good job of like highlighting how it is like awkward. It has this really quick scene where it like cuts to the girl, mm -hmm. like after he finds out. And she has this like, <laughs> she has this like exasperated, frustrated look where this has clearly happened mm -hmm. like many times. Oh. And then it immediately transitions into like, like fear for safety. <laughs> and they, and they do that all in like a really quick cut. And mm. I remember watching that being like, holy fuck, like that. So anyway, I guess not all movies were terrible back then, but but generally speaking, yeah, transphobia was just like normal rampant, and yeah. rampant. A yeah. Joke. yeah, 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 literally a joke. Yeah. Like lots of old comedies I, that way. Terrible. I was going to say, you, you were talking about, wow, we've made such progress and so much strive since 1994. We have. I mean, we still live in hell dimension, but yeah, we also, yeah, I just wanted also to definitively say. we have. Yeah. No, I think you're right to check, but also I sometimes I worry like... I don't know. I mean, I always think everything is shit and terrible. And so it's like really, I'm like the easiest person to convince. But like, I do think it's also kind of like, I don't know. I think it's wrong to act like progress even, didn't happen. Well, okay. Think about, yeah, whether it's race or gender or fucking sexuality or any, any of this shit. It's like, it, it is important to acknowledge that we're like really far from equality. Like, because we are. Yes, like, okay. And, and it's important to acknowledge that. But I also think it's like equally important to acknowledge that even though where we're at might still be shit relatively. And like, while you don't want to celebrate less shit mm -hmm. as, as, <laughs> oh, a, as victory. a victory. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Exactly. It is, I still think, important to the acknowledge. The fight isn't over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still think it's important to acknowledge that like you have made said progress. So it, anyway. it only really bothers me that specific thought when people are like, oh, yeah, racism's over. Like, racism doesn't exist because we're not in the 1960s Alex, anymore. you want to punch me in the face? Because holy fuck, dude, when I was like 20, I definitely remember thinking that. <laughs> you were that guy? I absolutely remember thinking uh, that. If you were 20, then that would have been... That's Obama wasn't even elected. Dude, I know. I'm the old as fuck. I, I absolutely remember having conversations with people and just being... And this wasn't like a thing. I just like went out and did. But like I can remember like one or two scenarios where somebody was like, 
blah, 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 something racism. And it's just like, and I was like, I don't know, man, that was so long ago, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and like, I just think like the concept of, because, okay, like if you think about it just in the sense of what like directly affects you through the lens of somebody who doesn't understand, which I didn't. Okay. Um, Like, you know, systematic, whatever the yeah. fuck kind of shit. Like, it didn't make any sense to me because I was just like, I mean, I get it, but like, I don't know, like people fucking did shit in like World War II and like, I don't give a, like, I don't give a fuck about any of that. Like it was horrible, but like it didn't, you know. But it's, it's not recent. It just didn't, it took me like a number of years and that's like one of the yeah. things that, you, as much as like, I don't know, like I feel like Twitter or Reddit or like the fucking woke sphere of the internet, it gets like so much shit about certain things and like there's definitely stuff that's bad where people just like fucking pile up and like on like different things and blah, 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 blah. But like, what I think generally the more like modern internet does it, that is nice is whether it's right or wrong, I don't even think it's worth talking about, at least not in this instance, whether it's right or wrong, it does bring things to the surface. Sure. So even even if you're like the guy who's just like, oh, c- cancel culture is bleh, bleh, bleh. like, even if you're that guy, I feel like, like, let's just give you the benefit of the doubt and be like, sure, okay, <laughs> <laughs> fine. Even then, like, let's give it the worst possible light it could possibly have and, like, pretend that all of the bullshit about how it's, like, problematic because of that is a problem. It's still good because it's, like, I think talking about those things mm-hmm. it is extremely helpful. I mean, in, in reality, we know that it's not bad and it isn't all those things and I'm not actually endorsing those things. Okay. Uh, yeah, you look really you look really uncomfortable, Alex. I, I'm not uncomfortable. Uh, I, I thought I was being very clear, I'm, but... It, I'm it, trying to, <laughs> to parse the specific argument. I'm saying, like, 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 yeah, devil's advocate. Let's say you're, like, the most, like, I hate liberals and 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 woke cancel culture blah it's the way. let's say you're that like my point is like even if you're like which sadly the world is not this logical but i feel like even if you think that let's just say you think that like you earnestly believe that yeah let's say like okay. you're the kind of person i feel like you should still understand that it's good to like talk about just different shit even if you think it's all stupid like you, you should hate, you hate everything that everyone says yeah i think just having the conversation about anything about all this stuff mm-hmm. is like so good. But like the problem is like, they don't even want you to have the conversation because they know, yes. well, we'll go back to Penn and Teller. Uh, uh, bad ideas take a lot of effort to spread. Good ideas kind of like spread naturally. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do anything. Because yeah. it, like it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't want people to talk at all because that shit makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it, that is the effort. Yeah. Yeah. And so they have to, to put effort the into. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, holy fuck. What, what an intro. Uh, Alex, what, what haven't I said that you want to talk about? Um, Say that again? Yeah. What, what haven't I said that you, are we done? We're just going on topics. I don't know. This uh, was a lot. This was a lot right up front. We haven't podcasted in a month. Yeah. We got and a we lot just went right into way, what huh? everything we, just we, now. We've solved racism. We solved racism. We always, you know, how many times have we solved racism? Dude, it just keeps coming back. It's so weird, right? Like, I feel like we've solved it <laughs> several, <laughs> several times. It hasn't been the 1960s for a it's minute. Like Will. There's something there that just keeps. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. No, there's. It, I, I am glad that uh, the internet is so sufficiently advanced that you're able to see. You will all of these different types of conversations and different people all sharing their experiences and their thoughts on the internet, so that you can acknowledge that Patty Mayonnaise is native. <laughs> oh yeah, and you. Okay, thank you, thank you for bringing it home. You said they specifically say that in the show. Uh, in the second season, or whenever they swap to like Disney or whatever, her dad is uh, native, and that's not yeah. real, Alex. You're not talking about. I'm Doug talking show. about canon. Um, no, you're not. The no, Doug they don't canon. swap to Disney. No, see, this is what, Alex. I'm trying to. I'm trying no, to inform Alex, you. Will. There is no Alex. The, the original Doug doesn't swap to Disney. You're not talking about the original Doug. This is how young you are compared to me. Well, there, no, I, I watched original Doug. Alex, there is only Doug the original happened. Doug. They don't swap to Disney in the original Doug. There is like it doesn't do it halfway through the show. There's just the show Doug and it's made by Nickelodeon. Disney's Doug. OK, when you think about Doug, how long uh, are his sleeps? Uh, he, he's got the they're they're down to like halfway down his arm. If they're above, the, if they're the above his elbow. Yeah, above his elbow. That is Nickelodeon Doug. Uh huh. If they're past his elbow, that is Disney Doug. I typed "sug" in the Google. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I need you to know. Uh, I'm I'm looking it up. There are seven seasons of Doug. Yeah, the Nickelodeon Doug has a lot of seasons. It never becomes Disney. Disney's I'm, I'm Doug is a separate show. Also starring Doug Funny. Correct, but uh, some of the voice actors come back. Some of them don't. 
Doug has longer sleeves, importantly, his white sleeves underneath his, his green vest. This is what people come here to listen to is a dissection of the difference between Doug's so, so Doug's first movie, which I believe was the only movie, uh, came out in 1999. Okay, uh, maybe I don't know that movie then. Let's see. What is there, Doug's There was first a stage movie? show of Doug. I own, okay, when did the show end? Tell me when the, show, the original show 99. ended. 99. Uh, Doug's okay, first so movie was, was the end of the show. Okay, so it was seven years, 1992 to 1999. Correct. That's Nickelodeon's Doug. Um, so what the fuck are you talking about? It started on ABC Disney's One Saturday Morning in 1996. What? Yeah, so it ran from 91 to 93 and then came back three years later in 96. Alex, you're blowing my ABC. mind. Am I wrong? I don't know anything about this. I mean, yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know anything about this. I only know about Nickelodeon Doug. You keep, you're talking about how Doug is fake, but like Doug exists. No, but that's, that's real Doug because denier. Disney's Doug is a different show. That I don't, no, you have not proved Disney, anything to Disney's me. Disney's Doug is seasons four through seven. Okay, wait, okay. Or no, 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 five through seven. I've never been wrong. You just changed your terminology. You're telling you're telling me as if this is all one show. It's not. It is. No, ninety two to ninety seven seasons. The only, okay, no, those are two different shows. Those are two different shows. So, so I'm not I'm not wrong because I thought you were saying that Nickelodeon's Doug ran from ninety two to ninety nine. Okay, doesn't. hold on, hold on. It hold doesn't. On. It fuck, doesn't. No, fuck, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. you. Hold on. Fuck you, sir. You made me think that I was wrong. <laughs> I, I gaslit you. Yeah. Okay. So the series premiered on Nickelodeon ninety one and ran until nineteen ninety four, and the Nickelodeon dis, uh, declined to greenlight a fifth season, and it was instead ordered by Disney's ABC. Yes. If you'll recall, those are two different shows. If you'll recall. Buffy the Vampire Slayer uh, stopped running on... Yes, but did they give Buffy WGN. longer sleeves and change all the actors when they, they did that? They killed her. No, they... Oh, <laughs> they Will. She's still... She's the same... That's, that's not the... Shut up. That's not Will. the same thing. She's the same and, actress. And, and you know what she's else? the same actress. Willow and Tara could kiss after they switched over to WGN. That doesn't matter. What's yeah, it was kind of important because she what? was gay and she couldn't kiss. Well, but that's... Okay, well, that, fine, but they... Okay, no. Did you're you're acting being like... No, they Buffy? did not change the show. No, that ah, the they made thing. some pretty they changed, pivotal decisions. They a lot. They changed a lot of main character actors. They totally changed the art style. That's because it's a cartoon. No, no, they're two different shows. You can't no, change the no, art style not, of a Alex, television refuse, show because no, it's I, filmed I, I, in reality. I reject everything you've just said. That's you were fine. trying to act like they're one show, and that's why I thought I was wrong. But I'm not. It was <laughs> 92 to 90 whatever. You have four or five. You're having some some object permanence uh, no. difficulties what? here, Will. Doug is a it's different It's the show same writers. It's, it's the a, same characters. The only thing that changed show. is a handful of voices. It's I, the same continuity. Alex, I will. Can, I can't. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> they they have a there's a totally different intro. All of the actors are different. There's a three year break, bro. Oh, a three year break. Three we end, year. Oh man. There's oh a shit. Three year hiatus. They go ninety one to ninety three. Ninety one to ninety three. That's Doug. Four seasons. One, two, three, four. Three years later, they quote unquote renew. No, it's a totally new show. They're in middle school. They're not in elementary school. There's several different. Actors. So what you're saying is All that the time different. continued. I'm you're not you're saying, acknowledging. I'm not saying they're not part of the same canon. This is like me trying to you tell you that. You said that earlier. Like me, no, I didn't. I, mm, I'll have to re-listen. I don't think I said those words exactly. I think you're putting those in my mouth. I could be wrong. Anyway, this is like saying like Angel is the same show as Buffy. It's not. They're well, in the same universe, okay, okay. but they're not the same no, show. Notably, you're you're right here because one of those shows is called Angel. The one is called, called Doug. Buffy. The other is called Disney's Doug. It's literally called Disney's Doug. That is what it is called. It is Disney's I Doug versus know, Doug. Man. I, I don't. I'm Alex. I'm on the Wikipedia page right now, and it says you're wrong. I hate you so much. <laughs> I hate you so much. Doug TV show from Nickelodeon to yeah, Disney. List, Ruined. List of Doug Nickelodeon episodes. Doug versus Disney's Doug. Why do people hate Disney's Doug compared to Nickelodeon's Doug? This is the only thing that's coming out when I Google the difference between these shows. Everybody thinks they're different shows. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we just talk about how the, the local hangout where they had their sandwiches was called the Honker Burger? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because again, in the first episode. Doug can say it when, because he's... When, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Skeeter's Skeeter's not allowed to call no. it Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, in the first episode, Skeeter and all of his black coatedness 
is the only guy who understands how to order the weird off menu yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he knows the secret. He's like, I just want burger. Well, because the joke that I, I always thought was so fucking funny when I was a kid is he's like, I want two hamburgers, and he's like, you got to say I want a burger, burger, burger with. He says like some shit. I don't know what he says. Uh-huh. It's like some weird random. It's like random terminology. And then he's like, why would I say that? And he's like, I don't know. That's how you got to order here. And he's like, okay. How do I get two salads from the salad bar? And then after all the build up, Skeeter's like, oh, like this. And then he goes, two salads from the salad bar. <laughs> and Doug's just like, huh. Anyway. Yeah. Huh. Anyway. Uh, all right. We're, Alex and I are going to fight each other to the death later about Doug versus Disney's Doug. Our actual topics today. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna, we'll go in. Well, okay. We have two, but I feel like we've spent so much time. We, we should just do one. What are the two? And then we'll decide what they There's deserve There's this article Farrell linked to me that's dumb. Oh, right, right, right. I don't, right, right. It, I but I don't think I'm going to do that. We're just going to talk about King of Fighters. Let's talk about King of Fighters. King of, King of Fighters, here. good. We're 30 minutes in. So King of Fighters 15. Came out. It's been out for a week and a half. Yeah, it, it surprisingly is a good game. But that's uh, almost doing it a disservice. Um, and I want to preface this before I get in and like suck it off too hard by saying that like, I don't think there's any chance this will ever be my favorite game no, of all time. Because Street Fighter 4 already came out. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know that I will personally like it as much as I like Grand Blue. It's hard to sure. say. Um, but so so there are things it does, and, and I'll get into what those things are, and, and all of the KOF players can uh, burn me at the stake once I get to that point. Excited. But, but um, there's a lot about it that's good. I think, though, the number one thing, if I'm just trying to hook people in and not just bore everyone to death right away, it's just, it's a game that isn't afraid to make the player work. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's thing one. Uh, uh, but but the sub bullet point of that is that it's also, it's not, I mean, I've played games that are far harder than this. I've played games that are easier than this, but it isn't some crazy hard game. Mm-hmm. And so so it's not... It's not afraid to make you do work, but it also doesn't require specifically work the way that a lot of games do. I would say even the way Grand Blue does. So what I think is really interesting is like the way the neutral play, the neutral is really good. The disadvantage is, I think, really good. Like you can do. You, you usually can do, have a reversal option. You can reversal with a DP. Yeah. You can do all throws are frame one. Alex fucking yep. throws me on wake every time I try to medium. So the only way to meaty is by not being point blank, which I always think whenever I think about like what makes a fighting game appealing to non-fighting game players i think about my friend kevin who is like really good at brawl for somebody who like didn't play brawl Mm -hmm. but then a lot of other fighting games he just doesn't want to put the time into because like he just doesn't like he doesn't like getting combo he doesn't like getting rushed down and so like even though you can get rushed down really really hard in kof that's the name of the game yeah yeah yeah, absolutely well it is but it's 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 different because it's like when you get like if you think about like street fighter 4 well or just street fighter in general it's like a lot of times it's like knock down do a meaty but in kof it's kind of like your meaty pressure is a little bit more nuanced. You're kind of like, uh, you're going to like back off so they can't just like throw you on wake up. Um, or even fighting characters who have like a command throw because all throws are frame one. Anybody who has a command throw can just kind of like mash that shit out if you're doing like fake pressure versus them. Uh-huh. So I think the, the the slider is really nice for like uh, allowing players who want to be lab rats to play, allowing yeah. players who want to be neutral. The neutral is so uh, what I would call old school. Like, there are so many fireballs that are just like, eat shit. Fucking deal with this fireball. And the game has a role built in to get around fireballs. That but, everyone has. But, which yeah. everybody has. But even that is like, it's like not. Punishable. Uh, it's not yeah. enough. Yeah, it's punishable. And so, like, I think if you look at this compared to Grand Blue, Grand Blue is an easier game to play by far than yeah. King of Fighters. No question. But Grand Blue requires everyone to know how to do like a sick corner juggle combo in order if to you, compete if you can't yeah. do that you can't play but yeah. king of fighters is like i mean the the way the neutral plays out it's like you wouldn't be able to beat somebody in grand blue without doing those combos because mm. even if you out neutraled me six times in a row if i hit you with one good like anti-air combo with bugs yeah, you, into pull in and yeah, i'm doing i'm, yeah. I'm doing 60 percent of your health so you can do those big combos in King of Fighters, but they almost always come like late by the third character when you have all this meter. All the meter and you get and like two, two, at least two typically matches, if not maybe depending on your team, maybe you only get one. But like most of the time you get like two like very core footsie matches mm-hmm. and then you go bat shit on the third character and have fun. And it's like, I just think that pacing is so, it's refreshing that it's hard. It's refreshing that neutral is good. Like when you look at this game compared to like a Street Fighter V, I mm-hmm. have never felt 
even getting shit on by people like I play on rank. I'll play like versus, I don't know. I probably played 25 or 30 ranked matches just fucking around. There's a lot of people I do really well against. There's a lot of people that I've had close matches. And a few times I fought people who clearly are like KOF veterans. And mm. even when they shit on me, I don't feel the way I feel when I play like Street Fighter V. Where it's just like they're just doing this dumb random thing. Yeah. It is so obvious that they know exactly what they're doing mm -hmm. that it does not like it doesn't even tilt me. It's they just know kinda, what they're doing and they know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. You like, you can see yourself the, getting outplayed. The the gameplay is so good. Like I, I am shocked at how good the gameplay is because the only thing I remember about KOF is trying to play KOF. So I didn't look at KOF 14. Everybody, I feel like yeah, not many people looked at that, that game. It looked kind of weird. Like the graphics were terrible. Everybody just memed The graphics it. were this, but worse. <clears throat> yeah. And these yeah. graphics are not great, but they're like fine. Not my favorite. I would have preferred the 2D art style. I understand that I don't get to have that anymore. I think that's wrong. And I, I like what that right. you I, I'm agreeing with you and thinking <laughs> that you're wrong to think that you don't get to have it. I think it's I think oh, okay. there are plenty of games that could have yeah, 2D art Skull style Girls, still. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's another conversation. Yeah. But but uh, so I tried to play KOF 13 when like Street Fighter 4 was popular because that was the KOF that was popular at the time. And I just remember it being like really, really complicated, like mm -hmm. so over the top complicated compared to this game that it was like borderline impossible to play. But what's interesting is like even having said that and how much more approachable and easier to play KOF 15 is, it doesn't at all feel like Street Fighter 5 or Smash Ultimate where it's like clearly been dumbed Streamlined, down. dumbed down. Yeah, yeah. There is so much hard shit you can do if you want yep. To do it and like um i don't know man it's just a really good game like there's a lot of different archetypes of characters that work there's also so many more normal characters in it than i expected there's so many more characters who have like a traditional zoning game traditional that is fireball my game with the game yeah well that's your problem is yeah. that there are too many normal characters yep i mean that you're you're insane that you are wrong i cannot support <laughs> you and you're absolutely because there's still a bunch of fucking weird characters there's too. a handful of weird characters it's a big cast I feel I like, okay, there's like 40 characters. characters in this game. Yeah. I feel like it is at worst like a 50-50. I think it's like two thirds. Maybe. Okay, that's better and still fine and you're crazy and dumb and I hate you. <laughs> but uh, what, two thirds versus one third? Who gives a fuck? That's still like fucking like so many characters. That's still, what is that? Like fucking 15 characters that are weird as shit? I, I wouldn't call any of the characters in here weird as shit. Oh, I don't know. You're playing weird yeah. teleport lady. It, Athena's pretty normal. I, I no, should... teleport lady. Uh, uh, do they both oh, have Chizuru. Yeah, she's yeah. weird. Yeah, she's I mean, weird. she's normal, but she's weird. Yeah, she, the game is rooted in normalcy. And yeah. I think I think what you don't like and I do like. Yes. Which that, I didn't expect because I feel like a lot problem. of yeah, like a lot of KOF games are not. I at least think they are. They probably more than I realized. It, uh, traditionally, and and I'm by no means like a KOF vet, but I, neither I, of us are. Yeah, yeah. I, I have watched uh, King of Fighters since like the uh, Togeki days, but uh, the the Super Battle Opera. Um. It's normal. It's just fast and real low to the ground. Like people jump and there's a lot of aggression, not in the same way that they're that people are aggressive in Guilty Gear games or even Street Fighter. Because I think what's interesting about the way the aggression works out is that you don't have a lot of frame advantage in this game. Yeah. I think that actually tech on a technical that level when I again when I'm thinking of my friend Kevin mm -hmm. who like really liked Brawl, there was like no frame advantage in Brawl. Mm -hmm. Versus like very few things had any kind of plus frames ever. It was all like individual hits and decisions. And I feel like this is the same way where like in Street Fighter, you yeah. jump at someone, if somebody blocks your jump hard kick, mm -hmm. you are like borderline guaranteed to get another normal with like 99% right. of the characters in the game. Like if you jump in and, and they don't Depending on care how and they block. high or low you are. Yeah. yeah, but in this game, it's like sometimes you block a jump in, sometimes you're disadvantaged if it's like late enough and medium enough, but a lot of times people do higher jump ins. You block that shit, you can just like DP them out of it. Or like yeah. even if they you let them do a normal, let's or, say you like throw, yeah. wait a term, even after that normal, Mm -hmm. A lot of times they're not like super meaty pressure the way that you are in other games. Like the, I yep. think you apply pressure by like being in an area. You don't apply pressure by being like the game says I have 20 plus frames and I'm bison yes. you and I'm good. Yes. And I think that's a thing that a lot of people who aren't big into fighting games really dislike. And I think that's why like, again, Smash Brawl is like, mm -hmm. I know everybody memes on it in like the Smash scene, the fighting game scene, but sure. like that is like, I have never experienced more of my casual non-fighting game friends playing a fighting game than mm. I did when I played Brawl. They all played it, like a lot. They came over like every other week. And like normally they come over like once every six months. And so like, I think this game, yeah, it feels like Brawl. And it, but, but there are real combos. The kiss of death. <laughs> yeah, no, they, there, there are real combos. There are so many this. real combos, yeah. but there, there isn't that kind of pressure the way like Smash Ultimate is like, I blocked 
a, 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 a Lucina fair. back air yeah. fair, and now I have to eat three moves of shield pressure. Like, yep. there isn't that feeling. Like, there, and it's not never there. So, like, you can absolutely apply pressure, but, but it requires you have to be right when you do it. You have to be right. You have to be precise, and yes. so and so. It really feels like people have earned pressure when they do it. It doesn't feel like pressure is free the way that a lot of these modern fighting games have felt. And I would say even including Grand Blue, mm-hmm. Grand Blue is not an especially pressure focused game, but the pressure that exists, I think, is is pretty free. Like like mm-hmm. Grand hits you with with button button light slash, and that's just safe. It's his turn and, and still, you, and you have yeah. to you have to eat it. Like he might be negative two. But he's far enough away, and his buttons are faster than yours. Yeah. Like, you know, or like, God, Sora is, like, just does, like, kick into thing, into thing, into thing. And he can do, like, four EX moves until he's out of his turn time, and you just have to sit there. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't feel like that's a thing in this game's design. It, it wants yeah. you to play neutral, and it wants you to, like, know absolutely when you hit the pressure string and not just give it to you. Yeah. Uh, in in King of Fighters, uh, compared to other games, it's not just that you've got a bunch of plus frames every time you press a button. In fact, a lot of the time, based on like your positioning and what choice of buttons you did, you're probably minus and punishable. But the game is so fast that the other guy has to call you out on it, which means that they had to know that you were doing something that would get them hit. Yes. And so there's... Which is that whole guess thing and, and the knowledge check versus the knowledge check. But it all happens so mm-hmm. fast. Like uh, uh, you, It's almost you get, too fast for you to know, which I yeah. think is also good. Yeah. The fact that it... it which, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you said that because, yeah, the, the lack of hit stop yep. and hit stun, mm-hmm. it's such a common thing in all these new games to have like 47,000 frames of hit stop and hit stun. And the reason that these games want that don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The reason that these games want that is because that makes it easier for the online to feel better. You think exclusively? Exclusively. Okay. Literally I, exclusively. Yes. No, like like I, everyone's wrong, and and there is no other thing to be thought. I, be, be, because they, if you don't have those frames when you play the game online, mm-hmm. it feels like shit. Look at yeah. there. There is a reason. There is a trend in these games getting slower over the last decade. And it's not because they want to make the games easier. You, I, it's maybe par- They do make it easier, but you're saying that's not the goal. It's, it's a byproduct. It, well, I think it's a separate goal, but I mm-hmm. think that goal could be achieved while still keeping the game fast if the internet wasn't a thing. Yeah. But it is. I mean, look at like, that's like, I know everybody always memes on that thing with Harada, but he's like, you can't change physics. He's right. I don't care how good your rollback netcode is. You cannot have good internet play in America for the entirety of America. You can't do it. It's why we, even when we have games with good rollback, we section them off into East Coast, West Coast, whatever, these all these online tournaments. Like, you can't do, it's just physics, it's fucking- Except for Skullgirls, which had everybody in the same tournament. Was totally uh, not, but go, go no, ahead, they, don't dude, let me interrupt. They didn't, we just did it at Evo. We just did it last year at Evo. Yeah. They did not do everybody. Wait, th- there was a US uh, bracket, and then there was a, a Europe bracket and a Southeast Asia bracket. Okay, let's say- <laughs> Let's say that that's acceptable. Fine. It's still. I, I understand the, the notice. Of it's games. still noticeably even. No, it's still noticeably different play, facing someone even in Skullgirls East East versus East West. I maybe I'm spoiled because I'm in the the center of the United States. Well, everyone but, is equidistant to you. That checks yeah, out. The so, physics of that check out. So I have been playing fine with people on the so, East and West Coast. Well, you would yeah. because you are in the center. Yeah. But but I'm that yes as though they were in my house. You're agreeing with yeah. me. Well, so, yeah, I know you're trying to act like you aren't, but what you don't know is that you are. So <laughs> so that's why I'm the best arguer. Okay, so so yeah, like they they slow the games down because the more hit stop there is, the easier it is to a like mm-hmm. those rollback frames. Okay, so rollback frames are totally not necess- not not necessary not noticeable. Excuse me. Yeah, not noticeable. If you do something like a bison stain hard kick, mm-hmm. like maybe you have a little bit less end lag on that move, like mm-hmm. literally speaking in terms of like the amount of frames that come out, but like you can still make the end animation match. And so skipping those like mid frames between the hit, uh, hit stop, hit stun and the, and the recovery, mm-hmm. it's like super not noticeable. But when rollback feels terrible is like in neutral, you have five frames of no rollback while you're walking in back and forth. Fucking Street Fighter five. Yeah. yeah, it feels terrible. So that's why they want all these moves to have like more hits or they want things to have like less frame startup. Like think about like a two frame jab in mm-hmm. Smash. Let's say Smash Ultimate had 
like the best rollback netcode ever. Mm -hmm. It would still be problematic for moves like that because you can't really, I mean, you you could still roll them back because the total frames of the move are less. Mm -hmm. But if if the active frames of the move are less than the total rollback, so say you have somebody you're fighting who has like five frames or six frames of rollback and, they, and I jab you, mm -hmm. you're going to run into the situation, which is terrible, where you do an attack and they get hit and then the rollback makes them not get hit. Mm -hmm. Whereas like if the move has eight frames of startup, like Tekken 7, yeah. Where like your fastest move, I, I don't know, I don't know enough about Tekken. Tell me the fastest move in Tekken. Three but frames, I, I think, but go ahead. But, but most <laughs> moves aren't even that. I mean, there are yeah. a couple three frame moves, but like the average fast move in Tekken is like seven or something, yeah. I think, right? So like, that's why they want the games to be that way because it makes them feel better on the internet. Mm -hmm. Like that's a real thing. I don't know. But okay, then why does uh, King I mean, of I Fighters do know. sidestep it? It but doesn't. The rollback feels way worse in King of Fighters than in most games. You really? Should, you should play it online. I think it has perfectly acceptable rollback netcode, but it's, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a known uh, rollback hater. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm a flat earther, yeah, I guess. Just, and, uh, science denial. No, yeah. no, it's not. No. <laughs> play God, God damn it. Anyway, <laughs> I hate that fucking argument so much, but like, people, anyway, whatever. <laughs> King of Fighters does have worse rollback. Yeah. When I play Pharaoh in King of Fighters... Mm -hmm. It feels worse than when I play him in Grand Blue, which has delay based netcode. And the reason for that is everything that I just said. Because King of Fighters doesn't do all of those things, it can't feel that way. Mm -hmm. It can't. Like, you're like, okay, I know you're like, oh, I play Skullgirls and they're in my house. Yeah. It, a anytime I play Skullgirls. What I think, what I think you don't understand uh -huh. on a technical level, and I mean this without trying to be an asshole, but I think you just literally do not understand. Uh huh. The reason that works in that game is because everything is chain cancelable. You're talking about the, the combo and everything is game? A, yeah, a, B, a, no, ABC up, whatever. Everything sure, chain sure, cancels sure. into everything else. Mm -hmm. And so that effectively achieves the exact same thing I've been talking about this entire time with mm -hmm. extra hit stop. Because I see you. Because yeah, so Skullgirls does not like people think, and, and this is what like everyone in the fighting game community does, including you right now, mm -hmm. they think, Actively. oh, I play this game and it has amazing net code. Uh -huh. And every game should just have this. And they say that, and they just don't fucking understand how shit works. Because mm -hmm. Skullgirls does not have better net code than, like, King of Fighters. The net code works better because the game's design mm -hmm. caters to rollback net code. So this is like a situation, this is not a situation where we have two cars, mm -hmm. and one person's car is just, like, faster than the other. This is a situation where we have two cars, and... One car manufacturer understands that, like, because their engine is shittier, they, like, make the car lighter, and that makes it effectively faster and smoother. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Like, Skullgirls has everything you do in Skullgirls. Like, if you play, try to play Skullgirls in rollback, and you only ever did, like, one move at a time, you would see rollback hits all the fucking time. But you don't, because you never do that. You always hit button, button, button. Always. When do you not hit button, button, button in Skullgirls? I am, I am learning patience in Skullgirls. <laughs> I am I am learning the art of Zen. I have been but, pressing but even, single buttons. But even when you're patient in Skullgirls, you're hitting multiple buttons. No, no, no. Like a Robo stand medium punch or the, the, the Makoto stand medium punch. Yeah. Uh, I, I've been doing a footsie. Just a single footsie. I'm not, not footsies. Okay, hang on. Now, I, I, this is where it's going to be hard for me to make my argument because I don't understand each specific move. But yeah. the... This footsie button you're pressing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're never chain canceling it. I am throwing it out and then hit confirming it. Into a special? Uh, uh, no, it's chains. Uh, fucking suck my dick, Alex. <laughs> Have you been listening to what I've been saying? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So, yeah, Skullgirls, yeah. you live in a weird dreamland and you're wrong. Skullgirls does not have better net code than other games. I mean, well, okay, maybe it does, like to a small amount. I'm not saying like it isn't. I'm not saying there's no percentage of it that is that maybe mm -hmm. Skullgirls is better optimized. Fine. There might be some percentage. But the important thing is that Skullgirls understands the kind of game that it is and it has a net code that fits around that. And mm -hmm. I don't care. Like, even look at, like, Melee on Dolphin Emulator. Yeah. It feels Slipping. great with rollback. Yeah. But it still doesn't feel like Skullgirls. You're, you do. I, I you, don't play enough of that to know. You get rollback on it. You get, like, rollback shit that doesn't. And it's because. Uh, Melee doesn't have that. It doesn't have anything like that. Melee, mm -hmm. it, Melee is like oh, really fucking game. good net code. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's like King of Fighters to where even when you play on the best net code that mm -hmm. you can play on, uh, which I've, 
I haven't played it recently, but I've, I have played like since they did that. Like I played it quite a bit, like right around when Ultimate was coming out. It feels so much better than almost every other game I've played online. Like I would say the best rollback experience I've had is melee net play. Mm-hmm. But like even then, you still get situations where you like you hit people. It does a weird rollback thing. Mm-hmm. You're moving. It does a weird blink thing. Like it's just basically unavoidable in those games unless the game is built around like extra hit stop from some way. Sure. So anyway, I, I, nobody ever talks about that. I can tell you're not convinced. I, you know, I I've been uh, conditioned and brainwashed, if you will, by by being raised a certain way. I, I the problem is I have played too much Skullgirls. You cannot tell me that you didn't hear anything I just said. Think about the I multi hits in Skullgirls and how many saying. more active frames yes. there are. The because more because you're hitting with three moves, yeah. and quite often those three moves are all multi hit, mm-hmm. or at least one of them is multi hit. Mm-hmm. Because there are a lot of multi hit moves in, in Skullgirls, and everything is chainable and everything else. So there are so many more active hit frames that when they pull rollback out as you're doing that, mm-hmm. you, you barely notice anything. That's all I'm saying. I. I think the the surest way for you to uh, better understand and make your case would be to pick up Skullgirls and play it seriously for... <laughs> well, yeah, you got me there, Alex. I'll, just, I'll have to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fuck, dude. I played Guilty Gear when that came out, every, and everybody was like jizzing their pants about Guilty Gear's I, net I play. I play that one. It feels like every other rollback game I've ever played. I don't understand. I, I haven't played that one. I've only that played Skullgirls. That includes Melee. Girls. Like the, I understand what rollback feels like. Mm-hmm. Like I get it, but it just doesn't. And that doesn't mean I like playing in a delay. Like because, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> they all. It all sucks. But like delays. Can, I, I don't know. Like my. I I like Grand Blues Online quite a bit, and it's delay based. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Fucking throw me off a cliff, it, man. It uh, sucked when I played it, but I played very early. So, did you play on PlayStation? I played on PlayStation. Yes. I haven't fucked around with it on PlayStation, so I can't speak to that. I will say, like, and you have to talk about it's so hard too because the, the the conversation is so muddy. But mm-hmm. the man, we've really derailed into net play here. We're supposed to be talking about King of Fighters, anyway. Uh, the, the the problem with Green Blue Net Play specifically is that the matchmaking such sucks, the connections suck, the yeah. interface sucks. Yeah. So much about it sucks. When you finally get into a match through all the shitty user interface and terrible awfulness, the Stockholm that is, Syndrome, set yeah, that is yeah. Green Blue. I do think the delay feels fine. Okay. I mean, I like I said, I play with Pharaoh. He's in California. We have like a fucking three to five frame delay, if that. Mm-hmm. It feels fine. It's not ideal, but it feels fine. I don't know. It feels better than KOF when I play Pharaoh and KOF. Okay. I mean, KOF has pretty good rollback net play from what I understand. I, I have not played it. I, I, strictly speaking, haven't bought it yet. I've, I've only been watching it and playing it over here. So I've had, I would say most of my matches when I play ranked, not mm-hmm. just versus Pharaoh, uh, most of my matches feel pretty good but a not insignificant portion of them feel terrible. Mm-hmm. I, I've never played a game where like the rollback net code made me just never notice I was playing online. It's never happened. Play Skullgirls, Will. Play, play Skullgirls. <laughs> you you're said so, it, not you're, me. <laughs> you're so wrong. You said it with your eyes and your face, Alex. <laughs> this, is like, this is like when people... Like, the, I, I the have audience really, can't I'm see really sensitive eyes. to shit like this. This is like people uh-huh. say like, you can't tell the difference oh, the between like monitor. sixty, yeah, sixty yeah. hertz and like I absolutely can. What are you talking about? It's. <laughs> I, I feel like net plays the same thing. I think all people who think that they play these games that are perfect net code are just un like unaware. They're incapable of noticing the difference. I haven't in I've I've played Skullgirls maybe like twenty minutes to an hour uh, every day for the last five days and I have not noticed being rolled back once. I'm not saying that I was. How often back. you played online or offline though? Because I used to think that even with like All Street Fighter time? four, you play how, well, who, who do you, how, or how, how often do I anymore? Yeah. I don't because that's, that's yeah. what I mean. Because like, I used to think that with Street Fighter four, I remember I was like, Oh, there for like two years when mm-hmm. I first started playing Street Fighter four and was good. I was like, all these people talk about how, uh, offline is like so much better. I'm like, I don't even get it. And then there was a point where I got really good. It was like, it was actually when I started winning. Like it was when I was like consistently like top three, like every fucking week for like a year. Mm-hmm. That was when I noticed it. I was like, oh. Oh, that ruined you. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> like I actually stopped playing only online. I, I stopped being able to play Street Fighter online when I started going to locals. Yeah, I would only yeah. play, I would only play alts online because mm-hmm. like playing only online would just fuck up my timing so much that I couldn't play yeah. the game. And it, it was like super, super noticeable. And I think still Street Fighter 4 is online. I mean, it's, I think it's a bad rap. It's not good. Um, it, it's certainly an example of delay-based netcode that is like, 
yeah, there Symptomatic were Symptomatic of the times. Yeah, it's yeah. an older game. It functioned fine for what it was. For the most part, if you had a good connection, it really wasn't that bad unless you were talking about really, really high-level shit. Yep. Um, I think it gets way more shit than it deserves, but also, yeah, I mean, it, it was... When I was really into Street Fighter Four and I was doing really well and consistently playing offline all the time, it made me sad because I, I I had to stop playing online. I would only play like Sagat when I played online because it was just like if I played Oni... I couldn't... I just stopped playing online because yeah. I... It, it it didn't feel like I was playing Street Fighter anymore. It, it felt like I was like uh, uh, trying to do the future. I was I was doing fortune telling in addition to I can't even Street disagree Fighter. with you. And yeah. I'm like, but that's I think that that's my point. Is like it took me years to mm-hmm. to feel that way. Yeah. But it it absolutely did because right because offline it was like a thing would happen and you could it that that was like that was where the uh that was where like the the reaction timeline was. Yeah. It was like that amount of delay was, was precisely enough, enough time yep. to prevent you from punishing things that mm-hmm. you knew you could punish. Or blocking an overhead. Yes, yeah. and therefore made you get hit by things that you were trying to react to or made you whiff punishes that then got you punished because yep. you knew you could react to it. But again, like I don't understand, like think about, think about rollback netcode. Mm-hmm. How does it fix that? It's 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 it, the magic, game. Magic wizards. It's not see, this, gremlins. It's nothing. There's no such thing as magic. It's pulling frames out. It is pulling frames out of the animations. Mm-hmm. And so while okay, well done rollback netcode. Mm-hmm. Absolutely feels better than delay based netcode. Mm-hmm. Like I I will not argue that. But sure. I think a lot of games don't do rollback well. A. I will- agree with you based on your experience because i i only you have only have skull Skull Girls. Girls, yeah a lot of games don't i mean street fighter 5 was terrible oh, i think yeah, everyone would admit Sorry, I did everyone that. would admit that so bad. <laughs> yeah everyone would admit that that is terrible rollback and but you know what's it, and so okay hang on let's yeah hang on. i couldn't let's, play with people let's come together for a moment let's come together <laughs> but yeah let's come together for a moment the reason street fighter 5 rollback is so bad is that street fighter 5 is the kind of game that is designed that should work really well with rollback netcode and it was still worse Implementation than was street so fighter 4 fucking bad yeah, yeah. like that is why it's a classic example yeah. because Street Fighter V in terms of the gameplay design is exactly the kind of game that should, there is no excuse for Street Fighter V to, be, <laughs> to have felt as bad as it did because, because it has everything that I've been talking about, right? In terms of like how they design the game to where mm-hmm. they can pull rollback flame, frames from like the constant pressure that's occurring with these and long so much of stop. that, yeah. It, I'm doing bison knee in the air. Like, like you have so many frames of advantage to fucking pull that shit out of that it doesn't even fucking matter. Um, so... Yeah, that is why it's so notorious. But even, yeah, so anyway, uh, fuck. Back to KOF. King KOF feels, I don't know if it's glitchy shit. I don't know. I mean, it's a combination of all things, I'm guessing. But like the game does, it doesn't have as much yeah, hit stop as some of these games. It doesn't have as many like multi hits. So there's that. I also think probably the net code itself is kind of jank because like I said, I've played games that feel great and I've had like, I don't know. 80 ping, which is kind of high, but not like crazy high. And I've had games at 80 that feel like basically zero ping. And I've had games at 80 that feel like, like I just rewind all the fucking time after I do anything. Mm -hmm. So it's inconsistent is Mm -hmm. I think what I'm getting at. Does it uh, tell you if you're playing someone with a wired connection? No. Okay. Uh, Which is big and it yeah. should do that because for those of you who uh, wow i'm so proud of you alex that you don't just think this is wizard Skull girls made me a snob <laughs> well it should though because yeah. okay see this is just to prove how objective and correct i've been this entire time despite everybody who doesn't understand how this works thinking that i'm a flat earther the reason that that's a problem mm-hmm. is like when smashers do online tournaments and they say send me a screenshot of your bandwidth mm-hmm <laughs> That does not. That is the stupidest, yeah. most fucking pointless, dumb shit of all time. You would rather have higher bandwidth than lower bandwidth, but but, it, but also yeah. it literally means nothing. <laughs> yeah, like like you could argue there's a correlation. Oh my god, I was just okay. Yeah, I have so many things. Okay, King of Fighters is a neat game. We're we're done. I'm sorry, King it's of a neat Fighters. Game. We, we like play you, it. But it's, yeah. it's a cool game. But now we're just talking about this. So so yeah, uh, people don't understand ping, mm-hmm. and they don't understand that ping has nothing to do with bandwidth. Mm-hmm. So they'll be like, I don't understand how I'm lagging. I I've have I have one megabits down. I have one gig down, yeah. and you're like, that literally doesn't mean anything. Like Pharaoh just said that to me the other day, and it, it just kills me. He's like, he's like, 
dude, I don't understand. Like I play Jordan and our connection is so much better than when I play you. And I'm like, yeah, Jordan has AT&T fiber. I have spectrum cable. <laughs> so even though we both have a gig down, fiber is always a lower ping because it's closer to the node and it connects to nodes that are bigger, better fucking ping nodes. So he's just going to have a better ping than I do because he has fiber, even though we live within 10 minutes of each other or 15 minutes of each other. Like that is the difference between bandwidth and speed. Like, okay, think about this children. You have a hose. <laughs> the hose carries the same amount of water. Okay. But one of the hoses is a lot shorter. <laughs> no, no, it's shorter. It's a shorter distance. Mm -hmm. The distance is ping. And now some hoses push the water faster. And so they cover the same distance and a shorter period of time, mm -hmm. which is still ping. Okay, but the, at the end of the day, bandwidth has nothing to do with speed. People think of it that way because it affects the amount of time that it takes you to download a file, right? So like they're like, well, if I have higher bandwidth, I have a, I have a I gig. Can a movie I have a gig down. Minutes. I can download yeah. a movie in exactly. I can download a movie in five minutes instead of thirty minutes. That's faster. How is it not faster? Well, mm -hmm. you're right, but it's faster because of your throughput. Mm -hmm. but the amount of time it takes that water to get from one end of the hose at the server where you're trying to download porn to the other end of the hose at your computer where the porn is going to go, that amount of time takes more time. You don't notice it because the total amount of time it takes to get to you is mere seconds. Mm -hmm. And you're downloading a file that takes five minutes or 30 minutes. So you don't notice those five seconds versus one second. And that's to say, but when you play a fighting game, that's the only thing that matters is 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 how far the yeah how yeah. quickly the water gets to you. It doesn't matter how big the hose is because a fighting game, everything a fighting game is sending you is so tiny. It could be the skinniest dick hose ever. As long as the speed of that like not, again, not the bandwidth, but the ping, which is the real speed, as long as the the time it takes for the water to get from one end of the hose to the other, to get from you to your opponent, as long as that is quick, that's your ping, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what your bandwidth is. It makes absolutely no difference. So if you have fiber, fiber always has higher bandwidth, okay? Mm -hmm. Because fiber is symmetrical. So even if you have the same down, which I do at, at, uh, with Charter, you know, going a thousand down, I don't have the same up. But even if I did, let's say I did have the same symmetrical up down, my ping will be lower mm -hmm. because cable just is, is, is a lower ping. The, 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 the hose water doesn't travel as fast. So it's the same shit with monitors. People talk about like, oh, this monitor has a really good response time. Mm -hmm. Like anytime you see somebody be like, how laggy is this monitor? And then they say, this is a two millisecond response time or one millisecond response time. Mm -hmm. It's completely irrelevant. It, it literally doesn't mean anything. And people think that it means something and it literally means nothing. So the only thing you could say is that most monitors that have a better response time, they're more likely to not have input delay because they probably, if they're prioritizing response time, mm -hmm. probably also prioritize other things, but they have literally zero direct correlation. What response time does, for those of you who don't know, all it does is reduce picture Blurring and ghosting. That's it. So like whenever you like throw something really fast in a game, if you can see like on your monitor, it kind of like looks like it's almost like like a ghosting. Like, like, a, trails, like, a, yeah. like, yeah, like trails, but it's not part of the graphics. It's like trailing. Even. That's all response time does. <laughs> that's it. That's, yeah. that's literally it. I'm not trying to take the steam out of your engine here. Uh, did you shoot a video review of a laptop? Where you I did. Were about ghosts? I did. Okay, I remember this rant. Yeah. In pieces, yes. Yeah, okay. because because I have this awesome gamer laptop with great frame rate, and it, it doesn't lag, but it does ghost. And so what I'm talking about is the inverse. You can have a monitor that does not ghost, but, but can lags. lag a lot. Which you would affect the input. Absolutely yeah. can have a monitor with a one millisecond response time that has like 30 frame delay. Absolutely possible. Now Your it's less common. <laughs> it's less common now because now people, and by people I mean manufacturers of these products, understand that. But the only thing that causes a delay, literally the only thing, that's mm. it. The only thing is image post processing. Or if it's a really shitty monitor, image processing in and of itself can have a delay because the monitor just has like a bad processor. But post processing is when like you make the image look different than the raw signal. Mm -hmm. And so for a long time, especially in the early and mid 2000s, all these TVs and monitors were like, OK, what if we just like used this weird software processor to make our image look artificially better than it was? Mm -hmm. And then now we can sell these monitors that are like one hundred and fifty dollars, but they look like a three hundred dollar monitor and there's no downside. What difference does it make? They're just going to watch a movie anyway. Mm hmm. 
Well, the difference is when you play a game you on it and you press game, X yeah. on your controller, it takes extra time for the you thing screen. to occur on yeah. the screen. <laughs> and that's the same thing as ping. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. And it's the same thing people don't understand. So anyway, I have bored everyone to death talking about technical bullshit. Uh, but King of Fighters is a cool video game. I like in King of Fighters when you press the right buttons, people's health explodes. Yeah, that, you can fuck people up in like two home. or three hits. Yeah, like uh, like your your good buddy and Antonio. What's his name? Antonov. Antonov. Yeah. We haven't even talked about the characters. This is like I have I have derailed us, Alex. You were supposed to punch me in I'm the face so fifteen sorry. minutes ago. I'm sorry. This you is, get just know that this is you your fault really and not mine. You get heated when when you start talking about netcode. I can't. I can't and, fight and, you. And latency. And late. Well, yeah. Those are those are the two big Dude, hot button issues. Dude, it's just because people don't understand See. it. And I know. And and I think it it makes it worse because people think that the issue is that I'm being a fucking flat earther denier, mm-hmm. and it's not. Mm-hmm. I actually, I, bruh, mm-hmm. I understand this shit more than everybody who says that to me. Except, it's so frustrating. Except ex- that I'm wrong and no, it's no, real. No, no, no. Except that you haven't played Skullgirls. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. You know, I don't doubt that Skullgirls has a fantastic night. Yeah. Code. Yeah. I have no doubt about that because it's combination actually. It's the same Rollback shit that ran Street Fighter V, and Mike Z made that whole post about how mm-hmm. uh, they they did bad. it wrong. Yeah, he was like, "This is my code." I looked at their code. Here is definitively how to make the game like, not suck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just implement this code, and, and then they didn't <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. Capcom. So I, yeah, I have yeah, yeah. no qualms that Skullgirls is one of the best sure. games with that regard, but it's still it, it, some of it is because of the way the game is designed. And, sure. and if you had that sure. exact same net code and you just like people think that what it is, is they're like, just take Skullgirls' net code and just and slap put it on Marvel. Slap it, it yeah. yeah it, it, right. Marvel would no doubt be improved Correct. by that net just code because Marvel's awful, net code is yeah. garbage. The the worst, But it, it worse would than not you Fighter can't 4. just somehow like people think that's how it works. They think you like, there's the code. It's right there for Skullgirls. I'm just, just gonna take it copy paste and I'm gonna it. put I've it onto Marvel spin. and it's yeah. gonna feel exactly like Skullgirls. Mm-hmm. No, it won't. Marvel does not work the same way in terms of the game itself. Mm-hmm. Therefore, it will feel worse. Decidedly improved than though, Skullgirls, but yeah, definitely the better. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shit that is Marvel doing. Jesus Christ. Did did I tell you I, I had put on full clown makeup? I was sitting there uh, when they were talking about we've got a couple of announcements for oh, Street no. Fighter VI. Oh, I was no. like, just say rollback. Just say rollback Marvel. You don't even have to say Marvel 4, just say rollback Marvel. Just do it. They're not gonna do it. No, what do you, of yeah, you, why would you think they would do that? No, because they said they had two announcements, and one of them we knew was Street Fighter VI. So that meant the other one could have been anything. Oh, um, I won't say you're a total clown. I think there's a non-zero chance they could re-release Marvel Three. Yeah, but it, but I was a clown though. It's pretty unlikely. Yeah, <laughs> but there's, it, but it's a non. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's totally insane. Yeah. It's a popular enough game. There's new consoles. Like they could make money. It's still kind of a popular game. Didn't they re-release Marvel Two somewhat recently for like some weird arcade version or something? My full shit. I thought they did that. Like I thought they did like a Marvel Two. No. Uh... No. I don't. Did they do Marvel Two? So. Where, they yeah, did no, a Marvel collection. Yeah, there's a version of Marvel Two that has like widescreen now. Is where, that Marvel Two or was that Marvel One? Oh uh, well, okay. yeah, I think it's I think my it's, point stands, but yeah. yeah, I know there's some because what I specifically remember is that there's a version of Marvel that they re released. Maybe it was yeah, one. Yeah. It's I, one I or two. It's one Marvel. And I remember it's like it has widescreen, XSF. so you can see the whole stage in widescreen mode, which is cool. But like one of the bugs that people complain about is that when you call an assist, the assists come in as if it were full screen. <laughs> So it's so fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. Wait, well, why? it basically means that you're never really playing in the yeah. widescreen area. It's just extra background stage, yeah. and you're really actually still playing a full screen version of the game. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I don't remember which Marvel it was, but it was one or two. I or, think it's. Or, or I think it's like one that. Marvel superheroes, or maybe it was X Men Cross Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah. X Men. Yeah, maybe one versus. Of those. I guess one, whatever. one of those early versus games. But yep. um, anyway, yeah, K with fifteen is a cool game. Uh, everybody should play it. Uh, it probably shouldn't be sixty dollars, but it isn't absurd. Yeah. Yeah, it's, $60. A, it's a PS4 game, which is better, actually, because uh, they haven't fixed the drivers yet, to the best of my knowledge. And if you play a PS5 game on an arcade stick, it doesn't go. So you have to play a PS4 game on a PS5. It goes. Mm-hmm. However, along with everything we've been saying in terms of post-processing oh, and yep, all yep, these yep. things. It's like 10, playing 12 frames. The PS4 like. version of uh-huh. KOF, and this actually includes other games such as, uh, not Grand Blue, uh, Guilty Gear. Mm-hmm. If you play the PS4 version on your PS5, mm-hmm. there is less input delay than if you play the PS5 version. Incredibly dumb. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Game developers, thank you. So, what we've learned is that 
game developers are stupid. Uh, the new generation of consoles are even dumber and that everything is horrible. But um, yeah, so so basically, even if there was a PS5 version, yeah. like, you wouldn't want to play it. Right, because right. You would rather get the PS4 If you play PS4 it as a version. PS4 yep. version, it has less input delay. Uh, very silly. Uh, yeah, games are silly. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, King Fighters is cool. Uh, should it be 40 neutral. bucks. Yeah, uh, it should be. Yeah, and, and it's not because King of Fighters itself isn't worth it, but I think all yeah. the games that have all this DLC, like charging, even Smash Ultimate, as great as that game is, it's charging fun. 60 bucks for a game yeah. that has like fucking like two to three twenty dollar DLC packs like within the first year or two or whatever. It's just like <laughs> poor shit. There better be a lot. I mean, and I don't even have a problem with 60 bucks in general, but like you do. Yeah. I don't have a problem with the point, but it's like the the, the exact point of it. But like it, <sighs> if they're going to do that, I want it to not be like a DLC focused game. Yep. That's what I want. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and I think people want DLC, which is fine. But then like, why are you charging 60? Like, like sixty dollars just for the I don't know yeah it's it's goofy. I agree with you. Skullgirls is only like fifteen dollars. You should buy Skullgirls. It has the best net. <laughs> I feel like I've horribly derailed this podcast about technical things that no one cares about. But the the drive home is that King Fighters fifteen is a cool game. I I enjoy it. I like when you kick that man with with uh and oh and Antonov yeah he has a giant cowboy hat and, and he does ninety percent of your health while yeah. smoking a On cigar. A touch. He touches you one time and does 90% damage. It's that's, amazing. That's hilarious. He's very funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been Mel Music Man. And I've been Professor Les. And we're going to play King of Fighters and or Smash Brothers. We will catch you guys in a month. Well, in two sooner? weeks. That, yeah. It's probably going to be a month. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>